Step 4. How to install WordPress on your website For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress. WordPress is a free platform that's been commonly used by bloggers and site owners for many years. It basically allows you to build websites without needing any coding or design skills. It's highly customizable, user-friendly, and really is the best way to build your website. HostGator makes it very easy to install WordPress, so I'm now going to take you through the installation process. First, you'll need to log into your website control panel. You can do this by opening up a browser window and typing your new domain into the address bar with a forward slash and the word cPanel after it. So, it'll look something like this, www.yourwebsite, whatever your name is, .com, say, forward slash cPanel. Obviously, you'll replace the word yourwebsite.com with your own domain name. You'll then be asked to enter a user and password, which you can find in the welcome email that HostGator sent you. So, enter those and you'll be taken to your control panel, which will look something like this. Now, there are lots of things you can do from within your control panel. You can set up email accounts, you can check your site's visitor statistics, upload files, a range of other things as well. But for this tutorial, we're just focused on setting up WordPress. So, scroll down until you see the Fantastic Deluxe logo and click on that. Next, you want to click on the WordPress link in the left side menu. Then click New Installation. Now, you just need to fill in a few details for your site. The first box labeled Install in Directory, you can just leave blank. Then, you need to enter an admin username and password to manage your site. They can be anything you like, just remember again to write them down somewhere safe. The next section labeled Base Configuration can again be left blank. Then click the Install WordPress button. You'll then see a confirmation page. So just click the Finish Installation button and that's it. You're done. You've now installed WordPress and you have the beginnings of your new website. You can now visit your domain and you'll see the standard WordPress install on it. In the next video, I'll show you around WordPress, how to configure, customize and use it.